in 2015 on Bacon Street in Boston, or as us New Yorkers call it, the worst city in the world for sports. Robert Wadinger, a Harvard psychiatrist, was silently giving the best TED Talk of all time. And you can quote me on that one. Now, this talk did not have a catchy title. It was simply, what makes a life good? And he wasn't going to answer this question just by projecting up his own thoughts. This was not the result of personal or collective sentiments. This was the result of 75 years of one of the longest studies on human outcomes, as far as happiness goes, ever conducted. They followed more than 700 people over 75 years, checking in with them almost every year, asking them, are you happy? They took a lot of measurements. They tried to check in to see how healthy they were. They also followed their careers, see how much they were progressing, how much money they were making. And they also tried to measure how close they were to their friends and family. I'll let Robert explain more. When they entered the study, all of these teenagers were interviewed, they were given medical exams. We went to their homes and we interviewed their parents. And then these teenagers grew up into adults who entered all walks of life. They became factory workers and lawyers and bricklayers and doctors, one president of the United States. Some developed alcoholism, a few developed schizophrenia. Some climbed the social ladder from the bottom all the way to the very top, and some made that journey in the opposite direction. The founders of this study would never in their wildest dreams have imagined that I would be standing here today, 75 years later, telling you that the study still continues. Okay, and so after 75 years of this huge, expansive research project, what was the single factor that Dr. Waldinger and his team realized as being the most important for happiness? The clearest message that we get from this 75-year study is this. Good relationships keep us happier and healthier, period. It turns out that people who are more socially connected to family, to friends, to community, are happier, they're physically healthier, and they live longer than people who are less well-connected. Okay, pretty cool. Relationships. This result is at once extremely profound and extremely commonsensical. Of course, it's going to be relationships that make our lives extremely happy. It'll be having good people around us and having good connections with them. 